I'm not like usual women my age. I have to confess, I'm a shopaholic. My name is Chantelle Aguilera and I live in Sydney with my best friends. I love the feeling when I walk into a store and smell the glorious clothing that is awaiting my arrival. Shops like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Guess or the amazing Gucci is where I like to spend most of my time. My job is basically to shop. Every day I have to purchase something new. I just can't stand wearing the same dress twice because how embarrassing would it be if someone saw me wearing the same dress? Now let's talk about boys. I need a man who is muscular, has blue eyes, brown hair and a ribbed body. If you don't have any of these qualities then don't be expecting a call from me anytime soon. Anyway, as I was saying, boys, 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 why are you fighting over me? Because this idiot thinks he can take my girl. She's mine, you muppet. I'm sorry, but what was your name again? Me? I'm Justin. And we met where? In Hawaii. Oh, that's right. You're the one who would have his eyes traveling up and down from my face into my breasts every 10 seconds. She doesn't even know your name, pal. What makes you think you got a chance with her? And you are? Harry. I'm Harry. Ha, who's laughing now? Oh, I give up. Oh, boys, boys, boys. Bye, boys. See, this is what I mean. I meet a guy, he falls in love with me, and then it goes downhill from there, and I forget about him. I meet another guy, he also falls in love with me, and somehow they both find out about each other. I have probably dated over 1,000 men in my life, one after another, and before you know it, other men will be showing up on their knees proposing to me. Uh, it's really sweet and everything, but I don't even know you. I mean, I know I'm really hot and everything, but you're a stranger. I was just tying my shoelace. Oh, uh, sorry for the mix up. It's been a crazy day. So what's your name, cute thing? I understand. I just moved here from Hawaii. Oh, I love Hawaii. So, how about I get your number and I can show you around here, seeing you're new. Yeah, it'll be really nice to meet some new friends here. Friends? Yeah, my partner's just in that shop over there. Maybe when he comes we can go grab another coffee or something. Partner? Yeah, my boyfriend, just over there. So you're dating him? Yeah, and he moved here from Hawaii with me. It's totes and dorps. So that means you're... What? Gay. Yeah, you got a problem with that? <laughs> that was so embarrassing. Why are all the hot guys gay? I mean, he looked so voguish. I should have known. It was more obvious than the plastic Bastard. surgery on Nicki Minaj. Ever since I finished university, all I ever wanted was to have a job in the fashion industry. I've been looking for a job for a while now and I'm starting to give up hope. I know all about fashion, but it appears the fashion industry wants more than just, well, me. Hi, I'm Chantelle Aguilera. I'm here to see the manager about the new assistant position. You're late. And? Please wait a moment. Look at what she's wearing. I know. It's like she shops at some Vinnie's. She's finally here. Mr. Keane, I'll see you now. Good luck. You'll need it. His office is over there. Thanks. <gasps> oh no! I'm so sorry. But at least I didn't spill the coffee on anything expensive. You should donate it to St. Vinny's. Come in! Hi, I'm Chantelle Aguilera. I'm here for the new manager's assistant position. Oh my god, it's you. Why are you in my office? Uh, I just told you I'm here for the new assistant position. What are you doing here? I moved here from Hawaii for my new position as manager of Vogue. Wow. <laughs> Did you have your resume? It's right here. Hey, likes, shopping, sales, and cute boys. 
That's right. <laughs> Skills. Shopping, modeling, looking pretty, taking selfies and texting. I can text anyone in less than a second. Sweetie, as you know, Vogue is one of the leading fashion industries in the world. So we hire and expect the best of the best. Do you actually think that we're gonna get somebody who has love hearts on the border of a resume? But the love hearts are no, out of no, fashion. I don't, no, don't that's know. not a question. Get out of my office. No, no, there's, there's no need for that. Security! What is your problem? Bye bye. Oh. It's already done. Goodbye. <laughs> Lady, I'm not going to tell you one more time. Leave. Bye. You all right? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Thanks for, um... It's all right. I'm Evan, by the way. I'm Chantel. Chantel Aguilera. Nice to meet you, Chantel. Nice to meet you too, Evan. Well, I guess I'll, uh, see you around. Yeah. Hubba, hubba. Wow. I do hope I see you around. Oh shit, I didn't get the job. Let's hope destiny will bring us back together. Maybe forever. <gasps> shit, I forgot. Get ready to meet my best friends. <laughs> Did you bring that ice cream? Yep, it's right here. That's Rochelle. We've known each other since high school. She's my sister from another mister. That's Amber. She's the most dumbest blonde I know. Trust me. When I say dumb... Hey Chantel, do you know what tea... G-I-F means. Thank God it's Friday. It's not Friday, it's Tuesday. But what does T-G-I-F mean? I don't know. Google it. Google what? I mean dumb. Oh, forget it. So did you get the job? And last but not least, that's Stacy. That girl has a brain. The amount of qualifications she has matches the amount of purchases I've made in my life. Let me tell you, there have been more than just a few. Yeah, how did the interview go? Well, I actually kind of knew the guy. And? He kicked me out of his office. Oh my god! Chantel, what did you do this time? Nothing! Don't worry, though. I've got another interview tomorrow. Hey, Amber, there was some mail for you at the front door. Yes, my model shots have arrived. Model shots? What are these? I'm a hand model. A hand model? Well, at least I have a job. This interview was the last chance I had of getting a job in the fashion industry. It is all I've ever dreamed of since I was a little girl. Hopefully the owner of Chanel sees more in me than the owner of Vogue. Chantel! Avon? What are you doing here? I'm the owner of Chanel. What are you doing here? I'm applying for the assistant position. Take a seat then. Would you prefer to stand? Oh, sorry. I meant that seat there. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry. You can put that away. What? I'm 
already fired? No. I just have one question to ask you. Oh, thank God. This job is my last hope. What do you love about fashion? Oh. Well, I love... <laughs> Don't you get that feeling when you walk into a store? What feeling? When I walk into a store, I pretty much have fashion orgasms. <laughs> what? I can't help it. Add a sale sign and I'll be in heaven. I just love expressing myself using my unique style of fashion. I love choosing an outfit every day for my wardrobe that suits my day. You know, fashion is the best way of expressing who I am. That's amazing. Just like you. You're hired. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you so much! Oh my god! I could marry you right now! Thank you so much! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you! We oh. start tomorrow at 7. Okay, I'll be here. Thank you! Oh my god! Hey! Hey Evan, the designs are ready for you to pick up. Awesome! I'll send my new assistant over to pick them up tomorrow. Great, hopefully I'll see you soon. Yep, yeah, bye. God, she's so annoying. Mm. Morning. Oh, you're finally awake. You have to see this. What is it? It's our year 12 graduation book. I found it hiding under some of my uni books. Oh my god, I haven't seen that thing in years. I still can't believe you paid the school to change our <laughs> photos into our headshots. Well, the school photographer kept using really bad angles. <laughs> Look at your quote. I am not a shopaholic. I just like helping the economy. <laughs> and it's still true. Oh my god, it's me. I hope that you wrote it instead of putting a quote here. Why don't they put each student's final mark? Oh, well, I'm glad they didn't take your advice. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Is that Zara? Yes. She tried the whole of high school to become friends with me. When she questioned how much my formal dress was, I knew we couldn't be friends. <laughs> <sighs> Morning. What time is it? 9.30. Wait, don't you have work today? Oh, sh Chantel, I can see you. Hi. Two hours late on your first day? Really? Um, sorry. And what did you buy? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't know if I should go to work or buy these hot shoes on sale. I didn't want to get fired, but those heels were so hot and they would match perfectly with the dress that I have. Just some shoes. Hot shoes. Hot shoes on sale. You were this close to getting fired. Oh my gosh, please don't fire me. I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. This time you're lucky. Oh yeah, and this is for you. Chantel, could you please pick up some designs at 89 College Road by 11.30am? Avon. Oh my gosh. Wait, what was I here for again? That's right. Okay. Not today, honey, but I'm gonna come back for you. Don't let anyone put their hands on you. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to pick up the designs for Avon. Chantel? 
How do you know my... Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. Is that Zara? Yes. She tried the whole of high school to become friends with me. Get out of my store now. Ah, but I'm here to pick up the designs for Abbott. Look, look, I don't care. Get out. <sighs> Zara. Listen, I don't have time to waste on amateurs like yourself. If you think you're going to speak to me like that, I would like to speak to the CEO of this company. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Where is she? You're looking at her. You? CEO? How? Why are you so surprised, Chantel? It's not like you took much notice of me in high school anyway. Well, that was because you were really weird and ugly and different. Well, when people leave high school, they grow up, wake up to reality and change. That's okay. I don't expect you to understand because it's clearly something that you never did. What gives you the right to speak to me like that? You tortured me throughout the whole of high school. I can't stand to look at your face right now or ever again. I'm struggling to resist punching you right now. How did you fix your face? Because, you know, the plastic surgery must have cost a fortune. If you're so interested, Chantel, I could give you my plastic surgeon's number. It's just a shame. I don't think you'll be able to fix the poison that escapes from your mouth. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. Yeah, I won't be a moment. I'm just dealing with the customer. Chantel, get out now. Listen, sweetie, you shouldn't buy that dress. That colour is all wrong for you. Excuse me? That's it. I'm calling security. No, no, no. I can't go through that again. Listen, just give me the designs and I'll be out of your sight. If I knew that Avon was going to send you to come and pick up the designs, I would have had them delivered to him myself. Now, if you don't leave my store now, I'm calling security to escort you. I'm not leaving until I get the designs. Why would Avon hire someone like you anyway? How do you even know Avon? I know everyone in the fashion industry. Get with 2017. <sighs> well, I don't know why Avon chose you for designs. You're done. Don't you dare. Watch me. <laughs> Hi again. What do you want? It's just, it's the wrong colour. It's not going to suit you. It doesn't look like you know much about fashion anyway. Excuse me, what did you just say to me? Hi security, I'm having problems with a difficult customer right now. Could you please send help immediately? No! <sighs> uh, thanks? She called security. Who? The manager, Zara. What happened to your hair? Oh, let's just say shit got ugly. I'm gonna pick the designs up from now on. <gasps> Avon would do that for me? Come back to the office tonight? Sure. Um, what time? Being here by six. I got a couple of things I want to discuss. <sighs> okay. How about this? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's too boring. I think I need a dress. my date tonight. With who? My boss. <laughs> well, best you don't keep Mr. Grey waiting. Okay, will you stop with your fantasies and help me find a dress? 
Well, I happen to have the perfect dress for your hot Mr. Gray. Okay. Can I come on the date? No, sweetie. Dates are for two people. What if it's a double date? Oh, I think you just said something smart. Really? What was it? Okay, didn't last for long. <laughs> this one! Oh, it's way too short. Oh, come on, just try it on. Fine. Okay. Where's Mr. Gray taking you, anyway? I don't know, he said to come meet him at the office tonight at 6. Oh my god, that sounds so scandalous. Is the building made out of glass? Um, not completely, why? We don't want any people watching you get some action on from the outside. Oh my god, have you been watching way too much Sex in the City? Probably. Wait, what time did you say the date was? 6, why? It's 6.15 now. <gasps> oh my god, okay, this will have to do. <laughs> Want some? No. Has Alvin left yet? I think he's in the middle of a meeting. Oh, what on earth are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for my date with Alvin. A date with Avon. Mm -hmm. Avon is mine. Avon wouldn't go for someone like you. Have you looked at yourself lately? Have you been to the optometrist lately? Oh my god, someone called animal control. A stray bitch has escaped. Yep, and it's standing right in front of me. I'm here for a date with my man. Any shorter in this girl's clothes will be a shirt. Excuse me? One second. You heard me. Did you both run out of material on your dresses? You're missing the bottom. And yours is missing the top. Oh. What she said. Hmm. Black ass. What oh, Evan? I just want this fashion show to be amazing. I mean, I've already received designs from the new Zara fashion line, but I'm just not feeling it. I need something amazing. Something the audience has never seen before. Something they'll look at and see and say, that's Chanel. Well, I will show you my designs any day, sugar. Really? That'd be great. What if you could also incorporate the fashion show in a Vogue magazine issue? That way everyone's a winner. You read my mind. What sort of style would you be aiming to create? I need something... Something fabulous. Oh God, do I know fabulous. I laid my eyes upon it tonight. <laughs> Can you hear that? There's someone in there with him. How many girls is Avon dating? That voice sounds so familiar. Did you set this up with Avon? Like I would want to invite you here. Could you do something like this? Well, I could do better than that. Really? Well, as long as you're not going to be my male model. Excuse me? I'm thinking all male models. No shirts, abs everywhere, and everything in pink. Whoever this girl is, she's trying to steal my man. You mean my man. You are so delusional. You know what, Zara? You should just leave before Avon tells you to. Oh my god, Chantel. You have not changed one bit since high school. You think the whole world revolves around you and your arrogant personality? Look who made it. Me. And look who didn't. You. I hate to admit it, but she was right. Zara had become everything I dreamed of being. But I didn't want to admit it. Why don't you just give me a glimpse of that body, Avon? I don't really think we're on the same page about this. Look, I'm really sorry. Don't even try, Chantel. If this was year 11, I'd be all ears, but it's not. It's been five years. Oh, Avon. What was that? You need to walk down that runway, nude. Have you been drinking? Just shut up and kiss me. <gasps> oh my god, what's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Chantel, Zara, you're late. You're gay? What? No. <laughs> Thanks for ruining this for me, bitches. I was so close to making this happen. What happened? Us! We're meant to be together! I'm married. What? <laughs> then why were you kissing... Sorry, what's your name again? Are you serious? 
It's Stan. Do you two know each other? Unfortunately, yes. What was your name again? Shittel or something? It's Chantal Aguilera. You better remember that name. In a few years' time, you're going to be begging me to work for you. But wait, Evan, why were you kissing Stan if you're married? I wasn't kissing him. He jumped on top of me when you guys came in. It looked like more to me. I've been married for two years. You three are honestly insane. Then why did you ask Chantel and I on a date? A date? I invited you guys over to look over the plan Chantel picked up from your office this morning. You bitches are so dumb. Don't you have a boyfriend? No. Sorry, who are you? Oh, you should know who I am. Are you the new intern? Bitch, please. I'm the manager of Vogue magazine. Explains why you're dressed like that. Okay, Zara. That's enough. Oh, so you're Zara. That explains why Ivan wanted to switch your designs. What? No, I didn't. That's it. Good luck with the fashion show you're supposed to be having with no designs. Wait, I'm still so confused. So you've been married this whole time and you didn't tell me? I'm your manager, not your best friend. I don't remember signing any contracts stating I had to tell you my relationship status. I thought you loved me. Seriously? Why would I love my assistant? Chantal, the only thing I love about you is your vote of confidence. You act like you're so amazing, but you're really nothing special. You're just an assistant. How can you say that to her? I'm the owner of Chanel. I can do anything. So, so that means you can get a divorce? No chance. Ugh. Worth a try. I'm done here. I'm not going to stay and play your little games. Are you coming? I can't. I need this job. Next time, make sure you arrive on time. You're this close to getting fired. You know what? She quits. She just got an even better job as the assistant manager at Zara. What? Actually, thank you, Zara. You're doing me a big favour. You're fired. You don't deserve her. These designs are going places that do not involve you. Yeah, well, with designs like those and an assistant with fashion like that, she'll fit in just fine. Just you wait until I contact my editor about this. There is no way your fashion show is going to go ahead. Oh, and by the way, send my condolences to your wife. I don't know how she sleeps with someone like you. God bless her. So, where were we? Don't even try. You can leave now. So does that mean that we're not going to make love? Not in a million years. Oh, oh, I just think that I was going to give you some of my designs. You're going to regret this. Security! Did you call me? Leave! What just happened? I'm so stupid. No, you're not. I can't believe I thought Evan loved me. Chantel, at least Zara gave you a new job. Yeah, but I was so mean to Zara throughout the whole of high school. Come on, Chantel. It was high school. We were all young and immature. You've changed. But have I really? I mean, I've tried my whole life to be successful in the fashion industry, and now I'm back to where I started. Well, maybe you should apologize to Zara. Oh, Michelle, like she would ever accept my apology. Well, how do you know that? <sighs> Didn't you see how much of a bitch I was to her in high school? She still hired you, Chantel. I mean, Maybe she's forgotten about the past and realized your potential. You're amazing. Just call her. What if she doesn't answer? Then call again. You keep saying you want a job in the fashion industry. Well, here's your chance. Zara gave you the opportunity. Are you really going to ruin that just for what you did to her over five years ago? Maybe you, me, and the girls can go meet with her tomorrow over coffee or something. That would never happen. Come on, Chantel. Just call her. She said yes. Now it was time for me to try and ask for forgiveness from the girl who I tortured throughout the whole of high school. At least to have my girls with me.
I just ordered you guys a coffee. How are you? Hi. Hi. Um, so... Chantal? What did you want to talk about? I wanted to apologize. For what? For everything. For how I treated you in high school. For jumping on me at work. <laughs> that too. Um, but no, I really, really mean it. I am so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I forgive you. See? That wasn't that hard. And thank you for giving me a job. And for defending me. That's okay. I was so pissed off at Avon. I was willing to do anything to help you. Oh my god. Guys, I can't find my phone. I don't know where my phone is. Oh wait, it's here. It's okay. I got it. Well, I wish I could change what I did to you, but it happened. We could have been great friends. Who knew we had this much in common? I know. <laughs> if you are friends, you could have owned your own fashion business together. I've got an idea. What? So, Avon Chanel Fashion Show was supposed to be holding all of my new fashion clothes for my fashion line, and now that's obviously a flaw. And? Chantel, would you be willing to do the fashion show? Oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. Of course I would! I know you love fashion and now here is your chance to show it. Oh my god, thank you so much! Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my god, wow! <laughs> but there is just one more thing. Yeah? You can't work for me wearing that. <gasps> what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> the first thing I think of when I do a fashion show is the name. What do you want to call your first fashion show? Oh, good question. Um, call it Amber. <laughs> um, I think I'll pass. Shopaholic? No, it's too obvious. Any ideas? I love fashion. No, it needs to have something to do with me in it. That's the Chantel I know best. <laughs> <laughs> what about style my love? I made it. Thanks to Zara and my girls, I'm going to be holding my own fashion show. Style my love. What can I say? The past is the past. I am so glad Rochelle convinced me to apologize and I'm so happy that Zara forgave me. No! Avon's fashion show was never going to happen. That left Stan and his magazine with no fashion show to write about. Zara and I joined forces with Vogue and whilst we prepared for the fashion show, they were organising the publicity that we needed for my debut of success. I also gave Stan a little bonus. I still love boys, and even though I don't have one, at least I know I have a million heels to replace them. I'm a shopaholic on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm actually on the road to the mall. I'm so excited about this fashion show. I wish that I could take you with me to see it, but that is a complete different story. And I just found out that there is a 70% off sale at Prada, so I guess you will just have to wait.
kitchen floor It seems like you can't take no more I'm sorry but when my engine starts I just can't get enough I'll let you up and tie it down So you'll be here, won't sneak around I'll lace you up and put you on Day and night I'm running, running for you Gotta move, don't want no ride So warm me up Cause I know the world is at my feet Yeah, so take me higher, baby Let's go and hit the streets, yeah Take me higher, baby, let's go and hit the streets, yo! 